Good rising. Hey, brother B. Judah. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So my name is um, Khan. I'm calling from Chicago. Okay. And um, my question today is, um, what do you what do you think about um, all of the dreams um, Israel is um, having these days, as far as um, the end times go? Well, I mean, um, and what do you think they're a sign of? Well, the Most High gives us. Uh, Knowledge and understanding, you know, in those uh, those uh, conscious times when we're sleeping. So uh, I'm sure, you know, many of it, many of the the things are definitely communications uh, with the Most High to His people and to the Gentiles as well. What are you? What do you think about it? I think so as well. I, I feel like um, um, people are being shown things come in different ways. You know, like um, people can get the same message, but in a totally different, in a totally different manner. And uh, people are starting to put the put the um, put the puzzle pieces together. Yes, I, I, I totally agree with you, because, I mean, um, when you realize that the world's been lying to you, but absolutely everything, you know, and uh, mo the Most High has to guide us back to him. And it's a perfect avenue for that to happen. So are we allowed to ask one question or is it Well, it's, it's not necessarily all about, I mean, you can make comments, let us know what's going on, anything going on around your area. Oh, well, there's a lot going on in Chicago <laughs> um, right now, but, but, um, yeah, some things involving, um, Israel itself, um, you know, we're still going through a lot of troubles as far as violence and, um, gang violence and the, the children getting caught in the cost fire and all those different kind of things and, you know, sometimes it can be hard to deal with, but, you know, you got to just trust in the most high. I know that uh, it was in his plan in the first place. So yes. whatever happens, it's supposed to happen. Yes. Yes. All right, brother. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you, Big Judah. All right. Have a, have a blessed day. Shalom. You too. Shalom. Good rising. Good rising, brother. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I want to make this brief and short. So uh, it's supposed to be in Indigenous America Day, yesterday, today, or whatever. So I'm on LinkedIn, and uh, this Canadian gentleman is posting all the pictures of the of the uh, Native Americans, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. And then I just start dropping bombs on them from Camarillo. They're, they're like, they're, they're, they're responding like, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> so, so I blew their minds, man, yesterday, all day, all day, all day. Beautiful. And uh, I just want to say praise to the most high, man. It is what it is. Knowledge, knowledge being dropped all over the world right now. Right. The lies, and, uh, are, not, the I, lies I, are not standing a chance anymore. They're not getting a chance. I had a retired professor from Brittenden University, had a smart aleck, smart aleck comment, and uh, one of the pictures I posted, I said, notice the fringes. And he said, so? <laughs> so I said, okay. Oh. <laughs> I went ahead and challenged him, and then I put some more information and knowledge of ours there, and I had somebody reply to me uh, with the thumbs up, the like. I said, I have no problem with you. I just have a problem with the educated fool. <laughs> That's it. the Most High is letting our letting our light shine worldwide now. Yes, yes. It was a pleasure speaking to you, Big. I ain't gonna hold you up. Thank you, brother. Thank you for sharing. Have a blessed day. For sure. You too. Good rising. Shalom. 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 What's up, Big Judah? How you doing? Doing great, brother. Hey, man. Just wanted to tell you, I've been following you for a while. Love what you're doing. Um, I follow with the with the the um, what was it the the when we had the the triple planets coming together, the two, two, two planets coming together. Yes. The great conjunction. When we had that. What was that? The Great Conjunction. The Great Conjunction, yeah. My wife and I 
watched that together. And um, January 6th, she died from coronavirus. Wow. Um, we've been married 20 years. Wow. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. And uh, she got to see that. Wow. Wow. How are you, how yeah. are you, how, how are you handling everything? I, you know, I, say, say that again. I said, how are you handling everything? Oh, man. Uh, um, it's uh, it's tough. Yeah. But I'm doing I'm making it. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, you, you, mentioned, uh, uh, back once before in one of your, your, uh, videos about everyone, you know, uh, us Hebrews, we should, uh, uh, start prepping and preparing ourselves to be able to, uh, survive off the grid and not be a part of this worldly system. And I mentioned to you that I'd already, uh, have purchased land, six acres of land and, um, uh, back in East Texas and, uh. Um, I was heading that way, building and everything. And uh, I just want to reiterate, we should do that. We we should all do that because it's, it's going to come to a point where, especially with these vaccinations, they're going to force us like, like um, uh, uh, it may have been you, the needle, the needle or the bullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll no. see. I mean, everyone has their plans, but the Most High is the one that's the author of this book. So we'll see how the Most High plays all this out. I agree. I agree. You can't listen. You can't. You can't. You can't run from from his uh, from the accountability of the Most High. Exactly. But uh, we can prepare ourselves uh, because it, ultimately we're going to have to answer to him. Yes. But uh, I, I just wanted to tell you, man, I, I love your show. Uh, I love what you're doing, and thank you for calling calling me back and uh, uh, allow me to speak to you, uh, man. You you are uh, amazing, an amazing man. Um, uh, they <laughs> they don't want they don't want guys like you out there. Thank you, brother. So that's all praises to the Father. Thank you so much. Alrighty, thank you, man. Have a blessed day. You too, brother. Shalom. Shalom. Good rising. Shalom, shalom, brother. Shalom. How you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Um, I just wanted to share with you. I've been studying uh, Cain. Okay. And how he uh, is, uh, how he's, how he's going, how people go about, you know, Esau. We forget about Cain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember you studying Cain and talking about Cain and the seed of Cain and, you know, the seed being, you know, the devil seed and all that stuff. And, yeah. uh, I was just, just sharing that with you that I was uh, that I was studying Cain and uh, what you thought about uh, that also being in line with Esau. Well, I mean, I've done videos on, you know, some of the information as far as Cain is concerned. I mean, uh, you know, you got like a, you have a cursed seed, you know, and it's kind of like I've heard about, you know, Esau being the reincarnation of Cain things of that, uh, of right. that nature, you know, but uh, like I said, you got the blessed seed and a curse seed, you know, I mean, it's been going on for a very long time and it's just still even being manifested right. today. And, you know, it, that was something that was hidden, you know, that's why they always talk about universal love and we're all the same, but we know, right. that's not, we know that's not true. You know, I said that's in the scriptures it's talking about people being born, speaking lies right from jump, you know, so well, many of the things that we've been taught, you know, and it, it's been pretty much to hide, the fact that there is a uh, a cursed seed in the world. Yeah. You know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, we always put everything on the white man. Mm-hmm. And we don't look at, like, <laughs> those Jewish people are from the seed of Cain and Esau. So, I mean. Well, I said, because, yeah, you know, Esau's mixed in. There's not, there, you know, that's like, right. you, you can't get into right. these. I mean, that's what, you know, when we came into the truth initially, it's like all these people are this, all black people are this and all white people. are, And that's, that's so far from the truth. That's why the most I says, we have to, you, you have to test the spirit. There's plenty of Edomites that look just like us as well. You know, absolutely, and man. Then, and and then, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And, uh, since I got your email, I'm going to start, I'm going to send you some, uh, 
see some Hebrew nation gear if that's okay with you. Thank you, brother. I, I appreciate just need that. Just... Okay. All right, man. I'll, just, I'll email you and get your size, and I, I appreciate you, your work. And uh, pretty soon I'll be launching a uh, a podcast. It's called a uh, Unprogrammed Podcast. So okay. we'll be talking about all that stuff and scripture and everything. But it's because of uh, guys like you and, and uh, Judah 144 and, and other, 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 other gentlemen such as yourself, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank Just you, brother. Thank you, brother. With you. All right, man. Take care. All right. All praises. Shalom. All praise. Shalom. 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 I'm good Judah. How are you doing? I'm great. This is Israel Talks Last, and you called me back just now. I'm sitting here at my desk, and I'm thinking, oh, wow. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> this I is amazing. You, I don't want to get you in trouble at work. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I, my home. Oh, okay. Local <laughs> office. Let me tell you what my father, our father does for us. He will sit you where he needs to place you if you are a global entrepreneur who he's positioning, who's poor but wealthy at the same time. Yes. So I just had, I called in because I saw it pop up at first. And I said, you know what? I never did on that first one because I heard it over again because I have to hear myself speak and practice on our family, you and, and after Levi and, you know. Mm -hmm. Because when we go live, you can record yourself all you want. We tried it with my family and say, stay under three minutes. I'm the only one who never did. <laughs> so when I listened to myself, <laughs> yeah, I said, go back and look at your time. I did. It was 13 minutes and 44 seconds. He said, that's 444. <laughs> you took up 25% of that. I said, yes, Bob. So next time, what you forgot to say, because you listen to it, you listen to all of them, because I get new information every single time I listen and I write it down. Mm -hmm. I know the gift that I've been given at seven. I'm not a fool. So I listen to some things five to seven times, and I get different things. I write it down because it's so specific. You say, but you know what you never did? You were so excited. You never said, I said, Judah, not only do I love you, we've been praying for you. We fasted a 40 day fast over at Big Levi, and I kept rooting them, um, cheering everybody on. Y'all, let's don't stop. What we start, we finish. And yeah, we turned in the space. We knew that you were under the weather. We immediately, I know my personal self and hundreds of others, we go into warrior mode, pray for one of our brothers, Abba. You are the great physician. So we do that, and I forgot to say that, and your wonderful family. Your sons, I didn't even know were right there. And I could have said, hello, <laughs> Thank you. beautiful king, you know. <laughs> and I just went on and on. <laughs> and each time, I, and I'm, I'm going to be sure, because you know people want to call in. Yes. And I, each time I heard myself, I'm not going to take a long time, but, 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 <laughs> but, you know what? The rock said, you know what? Be yourself. Yes. Everyone is different. No two people have the same DNA or the same specific job that I have them to do. Yes. So, we know each other. You're like you and 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 um and Abed Levi and Lisa Cabrera and uh Julia Fear and and Jerry Royal. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know I, I L. Whoever he links us to, whenever I only saw one video fully of Abdul Fear. One, that mm -hmm. one, outside yeah. of the one that you know maybe pulled in within um you or uh, Levi, whatever you're talking about. Yeah. So for that to have popped up. I buy Yas's babies, my one third. Just trust me. You going I say stuff that would blow people's minds. I'm not gonna tell it until it's time because y'all gonna think y'all y'all would the community one third y'all would never think I'm crazy. 
But two thirds gonna think, have you lost your mind now? Because I got proof and witnesses that my people, my children, and my family saw it. So now what? So all I wanted to call in and say was the, those things I forgot. I love you. I love your wife. I love your children. I love um, that, that Abba has, has just taken you for a moment to settle you, to heal you, to say, listen, this is what I need for you to do. Because we're going to be here for so long. Do you, do you actually know how long we've really been here? I mean, been here, not in years, mm -hmm. uh, earthly years. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yes. we're, we're only so many decades old. Yep. But we, our spirit has been here since the foundation of the world. It's so crazy. Yeah. We sound crazy to others. But when I listen to everyone else, and I listen to everyone since the first one you listen, because I want to see how it works when I do mine. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking too fast, slow down, yes. listen to the cadences of uh, the Judah. That's what I learned from from day one. And I know times you, I know times you want to turn up, snatch somebody neck through cyberspace, <laughs> but your humility, <laughs> your humility, and I, um, Big Levi's, he, yeah, he, he he's more like me, you know. Mm -hmm. I I have my professional corporate America mm -hmm. because I've worked in there, but then I have my straight ebonic ghetto fabulous. <laughs> if that's what you want, the line ish yeah. inner city hood, Detroit. Yeah. So whatever one you want is what will appear, <laughs> if that's what you want. Yeah. But anyway, okay, now this time I'm really going to get off the phone. I love you. Thank and you, Tell sister. your sons I love them and keep going on. Okay, I love Thank you all. Shalom, you. We love shalom, you too as well. chosen family nation. Okay, talk Thank to you, you next time. Shalom. Bye-bye. Thank shalom. you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Good rising. Good rising. Can, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just calling to say thank you so much for everything that you do and for the community. Uh, I live in Canada and I've been following you for a while and I just want to encourage you to keep up the good work and praying for uh, your your health. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I still need that. I appreciate that. What part of Canada are you from? Uh, Western Canada, Alberta. Oh, okay. I've been to Vancouver. I loved uh, Vancouver many, well, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we're one province over. Okay. The next one over. Yeah. Anything you want to share uh, about what's going on up there? Uh. Just uh, how our government, our prime minister, has constantly said that there wouldn't be uh, any type of passport, vaccine passports or registry. And now they're talking about uh, creating a pa vaccine passport just for you to travel. Okay. And just recently, uh, I read an article earlier this week that they are now looking at uh, accelerating the vaccine for children under age 12 because right now kids 12 and older can get the vaccine up here yes okay so now we're canada will be investing money to help accelerate the uh, research into kids younger than 12 getting the vaccine now okay all right, so I don't know if that's happening to you all in the States, but this yeah. is crazy. Yeah, well, like, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't heard about that, but I really haven't been uh, looking too much into that right now. You know, I said they're doing their thing, and I said I'm concentrating more on what the Most High is doing with us. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's, Absolutely. it's, it's easy to get sidetracked and think about everything that they're planning and everything that they're doing, but as long as we stay close to our power, I said uh, Absolutely. it doesn't matter what they do. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling. Yeah. Thank you so much for you calling. Know, the most high continue blessing you and blessing our community. And I'll be praying for our cap captivity to end sooner, much sooner than later. Exactly. <laughs> same here. Same here. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> All right. Take care. Thank you. You too. Shalom. 
Good rising. Hello. Good rising. Good rising. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? <clears throat> okay, great. So, hi. Can you hear me? Now I, I can hear you now. Okay. So, um, I found you about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I found you in a roundabout way. I had to think about it last night when I was when I was listening. I was like, I'm gonna call in, but I can't remember how I found him. So I remember now I had a, a, a somewhat friend that um, we had a falling out or whatever. And anyway, she was brought back in my life and she brought up something to me about, you know, uh, Easter being pagan and all that, whatever. Anyway, so she just mentioned some things that kind of just stood out to me. So when she said that, that just kind of started me doing some research. Um, and I don't even talk to this person now. I just know, you know, the most high just sent her to me just to open up that door. So um, then that led me into finding about um, like what they call it, secret, secret combination, Gematria. Okay. That turned me on to that. And so I was following this guy on YouTube that was talking about that and how numbers and things and how rituals go on in our world or whatever based off of numbers. So that brought me back to, I grew up, I grew up in the Mormon church. Okay. Um, I'm, you know, considered black. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have the greatest experience. Yes. And, um, but when I decided to get old, when I got older and I decided to, you know, stop practicing that, um, and I was, you know, getting rid of the things from the church or whatever. I never could get rid of the Book of Mormon. Mm -hmm. So, so I kept it and I was still reading from time to time. And sometimes I would feel like, okay, am I doing something wrong? Because when I did walk away from that church, it, I was um, taught more how to do praise and worship because that was something that you don't do in the LDS church. They, they say you're scared in the spirit away. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so um so anyway so i found a local church out here i live in i moved to lagrange georgia okay and um it was like a completely different place like just the dynamic it was just like just a feeling that you get here is just different and yeah. just you see you know black people here and it's just like a different just a different demeanor just mm -hmm. kind of like a like they just feel or act lower than the mm -hmm. people around them so anyway so i just started to do, you know, research more about this area that I'm in. Um, and then I ended up finding um, Pastor Steve Darby. So I was listening to some of his things and a lot of the things he was saying opened my eyes up to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But then one day as I was reading the comments, you had made a comment and you were like, you know, you're somewhat there or, or something you had commented to him. So then that led me to your channel. Uh -huh. And so... Um, once I started looking at your videos and I saw that you had the Book of Mormon on there and how you were correlating it. And then I found um, One Nation, One Power mm -hmm. and all. And it's just like everything just started to come together. Like I remember in the Book of Mormon how they talk about secret combinations. And I'm like, that's what they're talking about when, you know, they're saying like these numbers that are, you know, stamped on black people like if you look at black athletes it's, mm -hmm. you know number 42 and yeah. just things like that um some things that are, are easier to understand and explain for me personally yeah. but i just feel like you know i was always led to keep the book of mormon to keep reading the book of mormon even though i knew there were so many false things or doctrines mm -hmm. in the church yeah. um so I'm just so grateful that, you know, the spirit led me to you. And today I woke up and I've just been just been feeling it all day and just things just coming, um, just becoming clearer to me. And so LaGrange is about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes um, away from Columbus, Georgia. Okay. 
And so I went to school out there and everything. And I never really thought about, and now now that I, I my eyes are open, I'm like, duh, Columbus, Columbus, Georgia, Christopher Columbus. Uh-huh. You start making all these connections, right? As you start to get oh, your eyes open, you start making all these different connections to all these things around us. Yeah. Yes. So as I've gone out to Columbus more, you know, and I was going on like they call River Walk out River Walk out there and they have these monuments and then it goes into details about, you know, Columbus came in this year and you know, the boats and all those things. And I was just like, Oh my gosh. So then I that just made me look at the whole state of Georgia differently and then Alabama and then all of that. And so then I'm like, my dad would tell us that we were like Creek Indian, but I didn't know what the world was talking about. <laughs> and anyway, my eyes have just been opened. <laughs> and just like, I have a whole nother just feeling when I ride around these areas. Like, I see the mounds. Mm-hmm. I see, I see all of the stuff that, you know, that we've been lied to about. Like, it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. You just, just see all these things that they just glossed over or- we never made a connection that that's our history and that's our, you know, all, our people. I mean, I love Georgia. I've been to, I've been to Georgia and it's absolutely beautiful there. Um, yeah. And, uh, but yes, I mean, the people have put all these statues and monuments to themselves all over the place. And we just make the connection that they've always been here, but they haven't. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. their land, but, but the way we've been conditioned, we don't think about make the connections about the lands and ourselves. And definitely with the Book of Mormon, like, you know, you start to actually get when you get the right perspective and you mm-hmm. realize that these books don't have anything to do with the religions because most yep. people will, will keep saying they'll, they'll we'll talk about the book of mormon and they'll talk about the religion i said that religion that they pr- practice has nothing to do with the book of mormon mm-hmm. you know and, Absolutely. And, and people have the hardest time i said well you know christianity has nothing to do with the bible i said but you know but you don't make that, that, that those uh, correlations you know i said there's nothing about Easter. They don't do the Fourth of July. They don't do all. They don't do Sunday worship. They don't do white Jesus. Like, none of that's in the Bible. Mm-hmm. But they walk around with yeah. their book. But they walk around with their book like it has something to do with it. They're trying to give legitimacy, you know, to their religion. Yes, yes. So I'm just like just so thrilled. I mean, you know, some things you're just like, oh my gosh, like oh, and you get a little aggravated. But overall, I'm just like overjoyed that yes. things just make sense now. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for calling. Sister. I got to get to yes. some of these calls because I got a lot of people calling. Thank you. Thank you. Much love. Thank you for calling and sharing. Shalom. Shalom. Good rising. Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you doing, brother? How are you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right today. Uh, of course, this is Capstone once again. Yes. So I wanted to chime in on the sister who called the first caller from the last calling. Yes. Okay. And I, I'm going to chime in on that because I think that's uh, very important, for one. Uh, For two, it's several people who've uh, experienced those uh, airplanes freezing in the air. Okay. Okay? Uh, Including myself. But it's all about what she had to say. Yes. She mentioned that there were two planes that stopped in the air, and then all of a sudden, she's seen two angels uh, uh, coming down with this uh, Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Uh, in actuality, what she was seeing and what was being told to her is that uh, 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 the the gods of uh, that particular god is on the earth. Uh, because this is why they was coming down now because it's called a cherub cherub Mm -hmm. you know that's one of the uh, biblical names for it Uh, uh, the plane represents the uh, 
the vehicles that's flying around all of the military bases and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's what those planes mean. But there's a deeper meaning when you get to the angels. For a matter of fact, if you Google that word cherub, then it reads like this here. A winged angelic being Always having some issues right here. Described in biblical tradition. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, brother. You, you, just started, you, you just started. You just started reading. Represented in ancient. Well, I can I can start over now. Yeah, just just, can, just start with the definition of cherub. It, it cut off right there. Okay, the definition of cherub: a winged angelic being described in biblical tradition as attending on God. Okay. Okay, and then there's a little further definition. It says it's represented in ancient Middle Eastern art as a lion or a bull with eagle wings in a human face. Okay. That relates, that particular part there relates to the second part where, uh, 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 where she kept hearing that word, uh, thinking about that word Middle Eastern. Yes. And the guy who was walking in blue. Yes. Who walked up, that particular blue is, uh, uh, I'm going to call it, a divine blue and most of the seers who see when they in those astral realms or in the heavens they tend to see this particular blue it's a real beautiful blue uh, uh you can't help but notice it because it's heavenly okay so in that middle eastern uh, uh that middle eastern goes along with Enlil in the heavens mm -hmm. coming down and uh, basically destroying the system that was set up by the uh, so-called Americans or Israeli because they speak the same mouth and this is why she had they had that mask over the mouth mm -hmm. Be because it's one and the same. Yes. And uh, uh, how you know it's Enlil? Because they say in Middle Eastern art is a lion or a bull with, with eagle wings and a human face. And if a person looked for the uh, ancient Egyptian pyramids uh, or the pictures from there, you will see Enlil looking just like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, he will be looking just like that. There's several pictures out there that looks like that. And uh, it, it goes a little deeper with that, what I'm going to call mystery. But uh, this Ark of the Covenant, which you, what a person would uh, come to a conclusion, you know, if you allow to come to that conclusion, is that this Ark of the Covenant is actually not a box. It's not a box. It's actually a man, for one. Mm -hmm. And how you find that out, you go into the Book of Kings. The first Kings, when, uh, when uh, uh, David was passing on and uh, uh, Solomon uh, built the house of the Lord. Yes. The tent represents the earth. And the tent that he was building is he was building it to judge. And then they built another box. It was smaller, but it was the Ark of the Covenant, which represents that man. Uh, and how you know it represents a man is because when you look at these ancient Egyptian pictures, you see these bands, and they talk about the rings or bands. Well, I think it says rings, golden rings, around the arms and, and things like that. Okay. So that relates to that. 
uh, so that sister was actually experiencing in uh, a dream as well as a vision. Uh, she was being notified that God or, or Enlil is here. And he's also represented, he's known as the sky guard, the, uh, the god of earth, the god, the god of wind, and the god of storms. Okay. And as you know, and we know that there's been a lot of storms yes. uh, uh, going on on this planet. Yes. And and it relates all back to the Ark of the Covenant, judgment, and the big part of the tent that they was building in the, that they built or uh, described in the tent, I mean, in the uh, building of the Lord's tent, of the Lord's house, the house of the Lord, was talking about the earth. And the Ark of the Covenant is that one who's going to judge. And this is what we see going on here. So I, I, I thought maybe I should share that, what uh, uh, the sister had experienced and several others, according to was written in the uh, in the messages that the people are talking about. Okay, brother, I, thank you so much for this. I have a question for you. Um, I was yes. actually listening to uh, one of the books, End of Days. Uh, by Zechariah Zinchin. Yes, and uh, it was discuss It was talking about planet Nibiru uh, coming back, and like that was a planet that they were from. There was a, there was a t return like on a thirty six hundred year loop, and that yes. that's that's all part of the prophecies as well. Correct? You want to expand a little bit more about the about Nibiru and and all that? Yes, yeah. yes, that is a part of the uh, process, and and this is why they built these uh, telescopes and was constantly looking in the skies. Uh, because there was waiting and looking for Nibiru uh, to come back around. Mm -hmm. However, uh, uh, Nibiru currently, if you, there's some, certain people who have videos of it, they see this uh, particular planet that's uh, behind the sun now. Okay. And uh, uh, it's behind the sun. However, according to military operations, there's a, uh, what they call an advanced party. Okay. The advanced party of the Anunnaki has been here. Okay. They're already here and they're making changes on the planet. So, uh, uh, in, we notice that, uh, or you can notice that by the situations that's happening, such as the, uh, uh, the storms, such as uh, 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 these vehicles that nobody seems to know what they are. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but all of that ties in together with the uh, uh, Anunnaki or Enlil, uh, uh, who's coming. In other words, that judgment day, that particular judgment day, when the skies crack open, as they say, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is almost here. Okay. And it's by, it's behind the sun. It can move as fast as it wants to. Yeah. But in the meantime, uh, uh, what's being done is that uh, uh, God's people that He want that He's waiting for to wake up. Uh, uh, he'll give them time to catch on to this wave that's going on of uh, of advanced consciousness if that's what you want to call it mm -hmm. uh and when that takes place and when everybody is sealed and and everybody then came online then uh, uh they're gonna move in for uh, uh changing the system okay okay great great information thank you brother thank you so much for coming in and breaking down that dream and Expand a little bit more, and please make sure you keep calling in and bringing in more information. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As they uh, give it to me, I'll bring it to you. But, you know, was one thing that's strange about it is that uh, I've had it a long time, that particular situation. Yes. Uh, what she described, uh, uh, and, of course, I did my research and by going in, and I was 
uh, I put myself in a position to where they can give me that information uh, about what was taking place and what was about to happen. For a matter of fact, if a person uh, look up in the sky, you'll see all of these strange shaped clouds. Uh, clouds are normally not formed that way. You can look up in the sky, you can see the head of a lion. You can see eagles. You can see everything uh, in the shape of these uh, clouds. And we also were told that there would be signs in the heavens. Yes. And those signs represent what you see the clouds doing. They're not just doing that on their own. It is someone controlling it. And uh, uh, which is signs for everybody. So it would be uh, a good idea if people pay attention to the skies and disregard what they were told in the past to not look at the stars, not look at the moon, not look at the sky, period, because uh, 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 they're trying to hide what's actually taking place uh, uh, from you. Yes, very true, very true. Thank you so much, brother, I appreciate it. Not a problem, enjoy it, and I hope the sister uh, helps find some satisfaction in that, what I had to share. Beautiful, thank you, brother. Shalom. Okay, all right. Take care. You Shalom. Too. Good rising. Is that Big Judah? Yes. Is that Big Judah? Yes, it is. Hi. Oh, such a pleasure to speak. I feel honored. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. All praises to the Most High. How are you doing? All praises to the Most High. Well, um, not so good, but um, just, you know, keeping up in prayer and keeping you and your family in prayer. Thank you. And all the sisters that, you know, really do need prayer right now. Yes, we you know, all it's do. It's just a really... Yeah, we all do. It's a really trying time. That's all. It's just really trying. And, um, you know, just trying to keep away from the um, jib jab. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's not really much happening here, UK. But, um, you know, I've got friends in like Liverpool and that, and she's on the watch. I mean, she's. One of these people, she loves looking at the night sky. She's seen chariots, you know? Uh-huh. And she only, yeah, she only has to think, oh, if it be your will most high, let me see a chariot. And she's seen them with friends, you know what I mean? With mm -hmm. other friends. So, you know, there's evidence that they're there. Yes. Oh, it's just wonderful. It's just really wonderful. Yes, most yeah. high definitely oh, well, uh, fulfilling our fulfilling our questions, you know, answering our questions and, yes. and, you know, and doing beautiful things for us. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, I'm so, I'm just really, you know, I don't want to waste sort of like time, you know, when people might have some big stories to tell. So I just want to say bless you, Big Judah and all the other brothers, all the other elders online. And um, we're just keeping you in prayer and carry on doing what you're doing. It's such a good idea. It's Thank phoning. you. It's wonderful. Thank you so much, sis. Okay. I really appreciate that. Most high bless you. That. And thank you very much. Thank you. All Sh praises. All praises, All praises to the most high. Shalom. Bye. Shalom. Shalom. Good rising. Good rising. Good rising. 
Good rising. Good rising. Shalom, big Jewelers. Shalom. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Doing fine. I I have some information that I would like to share with the family. Okay. Okay. There's a book. It's 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 the book of Hagar. Um, that's from the Book of Mormon. Almost 63, I think five, where they talk about Hagar, that he built the ship. And they never spoke about him in the Book of Mormon again. Okay. It's a book. The book is called the Book of Hagar or Minnetonka Archives. And it states how Hagar and some of the Nephites travel up the Colorado River. Um, a couple of call-ins ago, you had a brother on there that spoke about and Indonesia. Yes. Yes. This book speaks about speaks about how they travel up the Colorado River and over into the into the Philippines. I'm kind of nervous, so please don't. <laughs> don't don't be nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. You're with family. Okay. And then how they travel over to the Philippines. Our ancient ancestors travel over into the Philippines. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yes, this book speaks about it. Um, right now, it, it's on Amazon, but the prices are outrageous. Really? Because um, I, I purchased it for like $60. It's uh -huh. a set. <laughs> but now they 200 to $900. The Not saying that it's a... It's a whole lot of nuggets. I go by what you said when you said the spirit, let the Holy Spirit guide you. Yes. Like the Book of Mormon. Yes. This book has a lot of truth in it. It has a lot of truth in everything that you have. Your teaching the family is actually is stated in this book. Oh wow! So like, it's, so it's yeah. called, is, is it called the Book of Hagar? Like H A G A R. No, H Hagoth, H A G O T H. Okay. Um, they speak of they speak about him in armor, and I I don't have my notes with me, so please forgive me. And I think it's sixty three, um, thirty five. I don't have my notes with me because I'm I'm at work right now, but I'm okay. trying to I'm gonna get this out. And um, I'm kind like I said, I'm kind of nervous. I, I would send you the PDF because this set that I have, I would send it to you, but the organization that I work with, I know how they are as far as mailing. I'm not going to get my, you know, my job. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, no they, I'll, I'll look, I'll it, definitely look for it, right? I'll definitely take a look and try to see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. um, I can send you the PDF because I, I did send you the PDF before. And I don't know what happened, but I can send you the PDF before. And if you don't mind, I would like to speak about another book called The Other Sheep by Roy C. Weldon. Mm -hmm. And if there's an insert in that book where it stated when they came over, um, they destroyed the books. Yes. And the only reason that, that they, they destroyed our books when they came over because it matches up with their book and they stated that um in this book it stated that they thought the devil has came over here and taught over here the same books you know the same scripture that they had in the books when they where they came from yes yes yeah. and if i have I have one more other thing. In, in, in this book, it's the book of Hagar. Um, this is my personal opinion uh -huh. and what I got from this, from the book, is that they did destroy our records. But in in this book, the, the, the book of Hagar, uh -huh. they couldn't destroy our records 
fully because they wrote majority of our records on the walls and hid them in caves yes. and so forth. I believe, this is my opinion, the reason we cannot go down into the Colorado, the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. is because majority of our records, or they have found our records in that area. Mm -hmm. This is from the book. This is what, you know, I'm reading from the book. Yep. I would love to send you these books, but I don't know how, and I, I did write in them because I make notes in my books. But I, I don't know how to send it to you so you can look at it and, you know, give your, you know, maybe your opinion if it's, you, you know, know um, talking about a uh, not. Just do me a favor and just uh, send me an email and definitely, like, you know, let me know that you were the one who was talking about the book of Hagoth. So we can, you know, uh -huh. correspond, we can correspond back, back and forth together a little bit. And I'm going to definitely search for it uh, as soon as I'm finished with this call in show. Okay, because I'm going to send it as soon as I get off. Okay, beautiful. Off Thank the, you. you know, the live with you. Yes. Thank you so much. So that's great information. I'm, 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 I'm definitely Thank looking, I'm definitely that piqued my interest that book of Hagar. It's, it's just, it's okay. just, it's, you said it was a set of books? It's a set of books. If you go on Amazon, okay, when I purchased the book, mm -hmm. and I didn't look for it, it just popped up. And I, I do believe, um, I, I think it was the Holy Ghost. And oh, I mean, yeah. Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Yeah, and it just popped up. And as I started reading and getting into it, the Judy, it blew my mind because everything that you taught and, and, and the people was speaking against, mm hmm it's in these books. Yes. It's in the everything that you taught is in these books. Wow. So I know you are being led by and I give all praises to the most high by the Holy Spirit because it's in these books and I'm blown away because of that. And I'm like I say I'm nervous and my voice probably is shaking, but I wanted to I didn't know how I don't know how to articulate You're doing a great job. What sister. I really want you're doing okay. a great job, sister. What I really want to say, and 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 I I, I give all praises to the Most High for you. Thank you for so you much. Because you know you open our, my eyes to the truth. But I'm gonna send you the email or the link to download the book, or send you actually the PDF. Okay. If that's okay with you. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate that. I'm gonna definitely try to see if I can find the book. You know. You always want to try to find that first edition or the earliest editions because they definitely make changes because they don't want us to get the truth. They always take stuff out and change things quite often. Right, because the set I have, the PDF, the set I have, stopped at a certain um, section. Uh -huh. But the PDF goes further and it actually speaks about how we dominate the world, yeah. how we fail. How we dominate the earth, how we can heal ourselves. This is the, on the PDF, but the books that I have uh -huh. that don't speak about it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to send it to you if you don't mind. Please. And for you to take a look at it, and I'm gonna send you the other sheet where it says the, the you know, when I spoke about yes. um when they came over here and the reason they destroyed our books. Yes. yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. You, thank you so much, Big Judas, for answering the call. <laughs> <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Okay, thank you, and shalom. Shalom. Good rising. Good rising. Uh, good rising, Big Judah. Can Are you, you hear me? Yes, yes. Hi, my name is Alpa. I'm calling from Arctic Canada. I'm uh, Inuit, and I have been following you since around 2017 or 2016. Wow. Uh, I just like to share some information with you because 
Uh, first time when I was uh, watching your shows around 2017, I really wanted to contact you because you had the type of information that uh, is needed for my people, the Inuit people here, because um, like I guess like everyone else, we have been Christianized by the 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 system. And um, <laughs> and uh, this first time I'm able to talk to you, and but uh, since then I learned a lot. I have learned a lot. Uh, even my uh, family members are still stuck to the Christian idea. But for me, um, since I guess I was 13 years old uh, in high school. Uh, when we were learning about the history uh, at school that they give us, we learned that the Vatican changed the laws and times at that time. Yes. Since uh, we were pretty young and faithful, we did not accept the Sunday Sunday church system. Mm -hmm. Just so I add, I'm 43 years old now. Okay. Uh, that was uh, 30 years ago. And, and when we realized that the church had changed the actual Sabbath, we, know, we found out that uh, it, it was um, not from the Most High. Yes. And, and also we learned at the same time uh, in school that they were trying to teach us that we came from monkeys. Oh, yes. And for me, I, it became very hard for me to accept yes. uh, what uh, the system is teaching us mm -hmm. so for that i really did not pursue forward in in the false system because at that age i already found out that it was fake yes but in between that time since nobody was awoke back then i came back to christianity and i grew up in a christian church mm -hmm. my father was a pastor but the Christianity was fairly new here in the territory. Okay. It was introduced with the Catholic priest and those Catholic priests. I remember, um, I remember them tell, telling my people uh, the, uh, the songs that they used to sing, which is, which is a, 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 a kind of prayer in mm -hmm. my point of view because the words you put along with that I, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. later on I found out that when you look in the strong string audience, if you look at the I am that I am mm -hmm. and actual language, it's I ya. Yeah. And all along, my people were saying the name of the Most High. Yes. But the Catholic priests were telling our people that is from the devil. <laughs> and and, and uh, people started to lose that and stop practicing that altogether till today. Yes. Uh, because of the, the ley lines, when you started to talk about the ley lines, I also found some rocks like Brother Abdul Asir did in Connecticut. Yes. There's the same kind of rocks around my region in the Arctic. And at one time, I my snowmobile, when I went fishing, broke down, the piston broke down mm -hmm. around that rock. And I prayed for it and somehow it was like okay again. And then I took about uh, 300 kilometer trip, came back and checked to see why uh, piston broke at that time when I prayed for it, it came better. But um, it was like um, near that big rock, Dolman Rock, it was a special miracle. That skidoo piston came back to normal. It's not even human being, like, it, like it's a mechanical thing. Yeah. And when I came back, the piston, uh, when I opened the engine, like the machine was okay, but I wanted to find out why it had seemed to be broken at that time before I prayed for it. Mm -hmm. So when I came back and opened the skidoo up, 
everything inside the engine, the piston became dust, which wow. was like, oh my God. And that was a miracle. And because um, I remember that and the connection around that area uh, spiritually is very strong. But tell you the truth, after the uh, the, um, the September conjunction, mm-hmm. my spirit has been um, wanting to go near that rock again to go actually sing the Ayaya song, not the uh, the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, because uh, in my uh, my people were put in in the residential schools by the priests and the nuns, mm-hmm. and they were forced to pray the Lord's Prayer yeah. in the manner that we do now. And my spirit, along with that, has been uh, saying, you know, I, I I I have to start praying like the Ayaya because it also has a vibration to open up your penile gland with the right or our right vibrations. And I, I have a lot to share with the family. And um, for those of you people in the States, an Inuit person is an Eskimo. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I believe, um, I, and I believe uh, um, um, even the 12th uh, tribe charts uh-huh. that's been talked about a lot, uh, a lot by Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. I believe myself, we are the tribe of Manasseh. Okay. Because looking at the uh, book of Joshua, where the Israelites were camped but at that time in the wilderness, Manasseh was in the north. And um, uh, this guy, he did a video, what's his name? Uh, Unifier. Uh, yeah, Yahua the Unifier. Yes, yes, uh-huh. He just make a confirmation uh, of the video of the evil over the unicorn. Mm-hmm. And that completely confirmed my theory that uh, Inuit people are, I think, are from the tribe of Manasseh. And, and you know, Big Judah, when we started, when you started reading the Book of Mormon, I also did order the books from eBay and mm-hmm. started reading it. You know, when I read it, it feels like I'm reading it in my language because we still have our language, yes. which is Inuitut. And and when your people say um, um, Hamashiach, mm-hmm. uh, the Messiah or the Christ, mm-hmm. you're actually saying that uh, uh, you're actually speaking my language. Mm-hmm. Hamashiach is the light, oh, a great gosh. light, the wow. meaning of Hamashiach. And Ruach uh, Hakodesh mm-hmm. is the spirit, a uh, great white spirit, Ruach uh, Hakodesh oh, in God. my language. And, and, and um, well, the thing with me is that uh, what's frustrating me right now is that even though I'm awake, even though I try and speak to a lot of people, they just, they're old wine skin. Uh, they have to put on a new wine skin. Yes. Because they cannot just understand everything we try and tell them. No. It's too much spread of uh, information. Yes. Because when... In some days, sometimes, um, uh, it, you get downloads of information spiritually. Yes. Well, I just have to come back. When I found out that Sunday was uh, a false Sabbath, I had to look for the real Sabbath. But luckily, I just also have to tell you that Inuit people also did have a calendar, which... Uh, which is uh, known to this day but not used, is using the uh, the full moon as the fourth day. And there are 13 moons and has 365 days because there's extra one day in one of the 13 moons. Okay. And therefore, uh, my Sabbath are never really on Saturday because Saturday uh, is inside the Gregorian system, the mm-hmm. Gregorian calendar. Yeah. which was created by the Vatican. Mm-hmm. So um, now um, on the 24th, it's going to be the full moon. And in my language, it's called the fourth day. And it's also in accordance with the tides, the water, tides of the saltwater sea. The seventh day uh, is the Alitohak, meaning the top, the highest tide. And, and um, the seventh day is three days after the full moon, which I call 
uh, the full moon cannot be the first day because in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 to 19, uh, he, Most High created the moon and the stars and the sun on the fourth day. Anyway, I want to hear other people talk. Yes, Judah, since now I'm able to open up and share more because uh, uh, there's a lot of information we have to share with each other. Uh, and I hope one, one day you're going to come here to uh, the Arctic and you're going to speak to my people. I'll translate for you and I <laughs> wish that could happen. But uh, some, I, I know it's going to happen because you know what? It's the end of the world for the white man, but it's our beginning. Mm-hmm. We have to be happy yeah. that we are going to be in rule of nation, rule of the earth, because um, the white man destroyed the whole earth. And he's getting uh, taken off from the rulership. And for us, we don't have to be scared of that mm-hmm. because it's not our judgment. It's their turn. Yes. And our turn, our troubles are over. It was a very bad tribulation, and we made it through. It was a very hard time, but we have to understand good days are ahead of us. Thank you. Like, even for us, our country food, like um, the store-bought foods are starting to be contaminated with some kind of very bad stuff, yes. and we know that. But for us, uh, the system, the stores are going to not work anymore. Mm-hmm. So as a hunter, a gatherer, we're going to come back to our traditional country food like reindeer, caribou, and partridge, uh, bird, ptarmigan, and whales come back to our natural diet. Because as we were blessed in Second Nephi chapter 17, verse 2, the Inuit people still practice that to this day, even though it discusses a lot of people. But uh, that's how we were able to keep the commandments of the Most High. Thank you. Anyway, thank you. Big thank Judah, you so thanks, much. thank you for giving me a chance to speak with your platform. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Shalom. All right. Shalom. That was a lot of great information. Someone from the Arctic calling. That's just absolutely amazing. It shows how the spirit is all over the world. People from all over. I've never never seen a call from the Arctic before. Good rising. Uh, shalom, shalom, Big Judah, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Good. So I thought I dialed the wrong thing when it didn't go through. I was like, oh, it must have not worked. Maybe I didn't hear it right. <laughs> how are you today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You think you want to share with the nation today? Yes, yeah, shalom. So this is uh, Sister Mariah um, Yasharel out of the D.C. metro area. Okay. And um, I just want to... First of all, say shalom to the 12 tribes spread worldwide. And the second thing um, that the fathers placed on my heart to say is that um, this is a time of unity. Uh, One of the things I really appreciate about you, big brother um, Judah, is the fact that you've been highlighting from the beginning that 2019 was the year of the Great Awakening. And the time of the Great Awakening is only going to last for so long. And so we, we Yasharel, can't be so worried about uh, all of the the doctrinal differences that we miss yes, yes. <laughs> the time of the gathering of Yasharel, because even Scripture tells us that everybody who is Israel is not going to make it. Mm-hmm. And so we need to focus on unity and and figuring out how we can work together and the things that we share, like keeping the commandments and the testimony of Yahusha, vice you know, building fiefdoms and kingdoms unto our own because the kingdom is Yah's, the kingdom is not ours. And so that's all I wanted to offer to the nation today. I appreciate you for giving me a call back. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much, sister. I appreciate it. Have a a blessed day. Shalom. You too. Good rising. Good rising. Yes. 
Good morning, Judah. Good Lord, you call it. Thank you. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you doing? You anything you want to share with the nation today? I uh, I'm having difficulty get in, getting in. Okay. Yeah, I, I want to participate. Um, for example, I'm going. I'm, I'm putting you on tribe of Judah zero at gmail dot com. No, you're oh, you're you're on you're on well. right now. You're kind of breaking up on me. Oh, you're on the call right now. Well, Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I have. I'm just. I'm just enjoying everything that uh, that you've uh, presenting. I'm listening, but I'm, at the same time, I'm also paying attention to what's going around, going on in my community, as well as various other communities in the U.S. Hold and on, hold, hold on, world. you're kind of you're breaking up a little bit on me. I'm not sure if you're moving or. Oh no, I'm not in one place. I, I'm just saying I'm very in. Uh, yeah. In terms of our redemption. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna hang up and call you right back. Good rising. Yes, I got you. There we go. That sounds better. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just paying attention. I, I'm seeing everybody out here running around and, and doing protests after protest after protest, but they're really not paying attention. Um, that's very regretful. Yes. Um, it's, it's sad. Yes. And the thing I want to do is, I, I mean, and I was just talking to my Tia. My concern, well, how long is the wait? And the answer to that is no one knows. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of anxiety because of that 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 anxiety of the wait, yes. and then how much longer is going to is going to progress, and how much further down the down the hole are we going to go as a society? That's on the top of my head at the time right, at this time right now. Okay, and yeah, no no one knows yeah. how long the wait's going to be. I mean, but we know that the transition is already taking place. The transition is taking place, and I've been paying attention to the ley lines and, and the grids, and, and I'm learning a lot more about that. And another thing that I've noticed is the uh, fast radio bursts out in, uh, out in deep space. Mm-hmm. And the fast radio bursts are increasing. Okay. Every uh, From a couple of months ago, this year, and I was reading the article, they're increasing. Now, I'm also noticing that every time there's an increase... I'm assuming that they're uh, linked to the ley lines. Okay. That's my assumption based off what I'm reading in the uh, in the uh, uh, Star Seed transmissions and the and the second volume that I'm on right now, the second book. Yes. Um, but I've read the Star Seed transmission and it blew my mind. It reads like it was written by Elohim. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what it's. That's what it reads like to me, and I, and that's just my impression. Yes. yes. I mean, and when I and when I excuse me. No, go ahead. Go ahead. And when I read the book, I just, I just, I want more. Yes. I want more. I want more knowledge, and it's like uh, being in the movie, uh, The Matrix. It's like give me the knowledge, jack me in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> give it to me. I want more. Yes. Yes. But I'm also I'm also loving uh, the reaction of uh, of uh, the other community, the enemy community, or the or, or the elite, the power structure. Yeah. And I could see the worry and stress uh, on their faces. They wear their emotions externally. Yeah. Now they may talk oh love, peace, and tranquility, but their but their expressions, their body language is speaking the opposite. Yeah. Yes. And it's obvious. Yes. They're, so they're, definitely, I also, they're definitely showing, you know, their emotions and they're showing the fact that uh, things, they've been lying about everything and now they're being caught with their pants down. Yes. Tremendous. And it's, and it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's sad at the same time, but I just know that our redemption is at hand and that brings me great joy every moment that i'm that, that i'm breathing yes yes i just can't wait thank you 
Yeah. Thank you, thank you for but sharing. Big Judah, big, big Judah, thank you very much for all that you do. I have learned a lot between you, GMS, and and, and, and Big Levi. Yes. I'm ready. Beautiful. I've learned from all the different Eric camps. Uh, I learned from everyone. Big Levi, Liz, Abdul Asir, Ayal, you know, 42 The Drop, Kurit Karimio. I mean, I learned from many. Hey, I learned from the Gentiles, listening to stuff that they say. You know, it's like, okay. I learned what not to do a lot of times. <laughs> learn, learn about the dogmas. That right. they, you know, right. like, you, learn, you learn from everyone. I mean, most I uses uses Israelites, Gentiles. You know, you learn lessons from everyone. Exactly. And he has spies behind enemy lines. Yes. Yes. And I love it. I love it. I love it. And and I love the books that they wrote back in the day, mm -hmm. basically um, telling the truth, but at the same time telling on themselves. Exactly. Exactly. Put pitting them wow. against, against each other. And they're having these arguments, you know, about who's right and who's wrong. But ultimately, it's our information and it's actually for us to get the understanding today. Correct. And I love it. I love it. I, and I remember when I was when I was working. I'm retired now, but when I was working, um, that that arrogance, that that privilege that they exuded, it was it was it was wrong, and and I felt it. Yes. But I had no choice but to continue on with with performing my my duties and 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 taking care of my son. Yes. yes. And then now that I'm retired, I look back on it and I'm like, wow, I could have sued them for that. I could have sued them for this yeah. and the other thing. I should be worth millions today, but it's not about the money, man. Nope. nope. It's about it's all about it's all about love. That's it. Love for the Most wow. High, following the Most High, and love for our nation, and love for the Gentiles yeah. that want to cleave. That the Most High opens their eyes to see the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't wait. I'm loving it. Bring me more. <laughs> Bring us more. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, that's basically it. I wish I wish I could jack in and listen, but it is what it is. Yes. But I'm listen. But 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 I'll but I'll watch this when when you post it. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Hey, you do the same, sir. Uh, talk to you later. Shalom. Anytime. Thank you. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Good rising. Hello? Yes, hello? Bravo, Judah. Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing well. How you doing? All right. I was calling someone because I saw you, you had a, a YouTube channel with um, people calling in. Yes, you're, you're on the show right now. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. All right. I got a question in regards to the future of the uh, church and how things are supposed to be going. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, is there a direction that anyone know of? And um, if so, what direction are we supposed to be moving in? I have no idea exactly what you're, what, what, what do you mean, what you're asking? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, to, to uh, put it bluntly, aren't there supposed to be the uh, reuniting of the 144,000? Okay. Yeah, I guess. A anything else? That has nothing to do with the church. Well, how so? Why is it has nothing to do with the church? Uh, is the church part of the 144,000? Which church are we talking about? The 144,000 in Christ. Okay. Are there, yeah. is that, does that have anything to do with uh, the church? I mean, which church are we talking about? Are we talking about the Catholic church, Christian church? What, what, what exactly are we talking about? Uh, the Christian Church. Okay, well, you tell me about the Christian Church. Well, I thought you had a little knowledge on it. I, I remember one of the videos I saw that you were speaking on it. Well, I'm just—I'm not sure exactly what your question is. I mean, um, as far as like prophecy, what, what, what do you—what do you mean? Well, I want to—I want to just say that the forming of the hundred and forty-four thousand. I think this is a time when it should be a conversation and people starting to look in that direction. Okay. No one has spoken about it as of yet, and I'm bringing it to light that it should be spoken about. Okay. Tribes should, tribes should start forming. 
the, 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 well, the most well, most high is going to form the tribe, but we just don't do it on our own. Right. I mean, the most high is the one that's chosen who's going to be part of the elect, not not us. So we just can't go and just uh, say we're going to form the 12 tribes or 12,000 people in each, each tribe. Right, until you get the, uh, the notice to do so, correct? Okay. So the uh, point I was trying to make is that it's time to start forming the 144,000. Okay, I, I, how, and how exactly are you going to do that? Well, I would like to speak to you off the air in regards to that. Oh, okay. We have my, you have my email. You can email me. I just, uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with these these churches. If, I mean, if that's what you're meaning, because it has nothing to do with uh, these Christian or Catholic churches. Do you, do you believe no, that? It has, with, it has to do with the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. We can, okay. We can agree on that point. Okay. Because when you're saying the church or things like that, I'm thinking of. Are we talking about our people, or are we talking about you know the Christian church? Because just kind of can be used. Well, the multitude, the multitude will be present, but it's basically generally focused around the, the hundred and forty-four thousand, which is uh, Israel. Yes. Right. So the multitude are a different section. Yes. Of people, but the uh, hundred and forty-four thousand consists of the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes. And the, and the yes. ones the most high already, you know. Deemed to be the elect. He's the one that's chosen who's elect and who's not. Um, could you repeat that? I said the most high is the one who has uh, chosen who's of the elect and who's not. So, Well, they should know who they are at this point, shouldn't they? Uh, not necessarily. People are still being awakened at this point. I mean, are you, are, do you think you're are you the, uh, one of the elect? Are you sure of that? Am I sure of, of being an elect of uh, oh, like a guy? part of one hundred forty-four thousand? Well, I think um, the, it's a matter of becoming aware and awakened. That's what that's what the elect would be okay. aware and awakened to it. Okay. All right. So well, you, you have um, go, ahead. People, go ahead. Go ahead. So the people who are aware and awakened. I mean, if your if your message has been clear for many years, that that's the point where uh, we should be at right now. The people who are awake in from the messages that the multitude has been speaking on. So I don't think it just uh, what I'm speaking of is just one year. Or so it's been over the time. So I'm quite sure the elect should be awakened by now. Well, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I th I'm sure many of us have been awakened since birth, but we didn't really understand what you know why we felt the way that we felt or. You know, under, have the understanding that we have at this point, but hey, we'll see. You know, right. and we've been chosen since before we, you know, we were formed in the womb. So, so yes, we have more understanding, but we didn't have it before, not until the Most High decided to awaken us to see. Well, I, I must say that you you've been supplying a lot of uh, information to people to give that light, to shed that light on some of the dark things. So. Thank you, brother. It's I appreciate that. It, 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 that's it. It's, it's definitely a process. Definitely right. a process. But thank you so much for calling. Okay, right, right. So um, that, that email address is, what, what is it? The uh, same, same address? Same address, yes. Okay, I'll do that. Thank All you right. for the call back. Thank you so much, brother. Have a great day. You too now. So long. So long. Rising. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, Big Judah. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you. 
I really was just testing to see, and it said you didn't answer. But I did have something on my heart really quick. Um, I was, um, my heart has been to figure out once we cross over to the other side, if you will, and that we um, assume our rightful place and position in the world, again, that we don't make the same mistakes that our forefathers made. And so I have been um, reading the scriptures to ascertain what exactly that was and how that looked. And it seemed to me that what I got out of my studies in um, Second Chronicles was that every, almost every other, save maybe one or two um, kings, didn't rear their children up in the word. And we as a nation did not practice the feasts. And so when you read, I want to say Second Chronicles, um, I can't move because I'm going to lose you. Second Chronicles, uh, uh, it's towards the end, like I want to say chapter 32, 33, where Hezekiah was the, uh, and then his son Josiah became king. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it talks about how Yasharel had not had uh, served or honor Pekak in years mm-hmm. and, and that they had actually found the Torah when they were searching the temple for some, um, some monies and some goods to restore the temple from the previous king that did not do well and served Baal and uprooted all these statues. And so I, my heart is that, um, I know I listened to, um, Four, three, two, the drop, and you, and several other, and Lisa, is that at some point, if we as a nation could get on the same page, whatever that looks like, and start honoring the feast, I just think that would be powerful. Um, and I know you have hesitated on that because you don't. It does. I've, I've ascertained that you believe that's not, you know, your call or what, um, and you do what you do well. Don't, yeah, you know that you do what you do well and you're anointed and blessed and all that. But my heart is that if we could somehow get to that space where we're on the same page, because it seems to me when I was reading the scriptures that that was something that we just did not do well. We didn't keep the feast the way the scriptures say we're supposed to keep them. And we weren't even keeping Shabbat, nor studying and reading the Torah aloud. And so um, that's what I got. And I kind of just wanted to put out there. And I wanted to do a little bit more study, and I will, and maybe I'll call in another time to kind of bring it all together with some actual scriptures for you. Okay. Thank you, sister, for sharing that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Big Judah. You um, you stay blessed and stay well and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. You have a blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. Shalom. Shalom. 